Hey guys, the next service that we're going to be self-hosting is Grafana and Grafana is a data visualization platform and observability platform as well. And it takes uh, data from a lot of different sources. The main page is going to look like this once we've done self-hosting it and you'll be able to use all of Grafana's features. So let me show you how to self-host it. We are going to go into Coolify and hit add a new project. We're going to call it Grafana tutorial, call it whatever you like, obviously. Select the production environment, hit add a new resource, and search for Grafana. So you can choose either or. This is the database that Grafana is going to be using to store users, dashboards, any data that's, per, that's specific to the Grafana instance. I'm going to choose this one. It's going to use an SQLite 3 database under the hood. But I will also show you the Postgres SQL just to show you the difference in the Compose file. So here is my Grafana instance without the Postgres SQL service. Now let's say I had chosen the Postgres SQL service. It would look like this. We'd have an extra service down there for Postgres. Most interesting is the compost file. So we would have extra environment variables here for Postgres, as well as the image down below. So if you wanted to configure your Grafana instance to be highly available, you wouldn't actually do it like this. You would most likely have a database somewhere else that's hosted on a different uh, resource, perhaps. And then you would add the details to your Postgres service here. And you can then have multiple Grafana instances that use the same database. And uh, that's out of the scope of this uh, video, obviously. So let's go back to the Grafana instance that we just created and we're ready to self host it. So we're just going to hit deploy. So the containers have started. I'm just going to close this and we're going to wait for it to say healthy and then we can visit the URL. So now the container is healthy. I'm going to copy this bit without the port, open it up in a new tab. So it's asking for some details. We're going to put admin as the username because that's the default one that we have here. And the password, we're just going to copy that from here and paste it in here and hit login. And that's it. Now you have your Grafana instance set up. So you can go ahead and add your first data source and also create your first dashboard. So that's going to be outside of the scope of this video because Grafana is actually quite a beast to use. There's a lot of different features and I think that's better suited for a separate video. And so with that, I will see you in the next video.